In this episode, I'm going to show you exactly how to schedule content on Facebook Creator Studio. So I've recently just expanded my content marketing strategy to include regular posting both on Facebook as well as Instagram. And after experimenting with several different third party tools like Later and Buffer and stuff like that, I actually chose to use um, the free Facebook Creator Studio instead. So in this video, I'm going to share two things with you. Number one is I'm going to obviously share the technicalities of exactly how to schedule stuff on Facebook Creator Studio studio, where to point and where to click. But also before that, I'm actually going to um, share with you exactly how to prepare your content in advance so that once you log in into Facebook Creator Studio, you will have everything that you need and you won't have to run away and be like, oh my God, I forgot the thumbnail or oh my God, this video is in the wrong size and stuff like that. You'll have everything that you need to be prepared to schedule your content on the free Facebook Creator Studio super, super effectively. So with that being said, let's begin. Okay, so today I'm going to be uploading two different types of posts into Facebook Creator Studio. The first type of post I'm going to be uploading is a Facebook video, which is going to be uploaded and scheduled into my Facebook fan page. And the second type of post I'm going to be uploading is an Instagram IGTV post, which is going to be uploaded and scheduled into my IGTV account, as well as appear on my Instagram feed, just as if it was any regular photo, right? Note that if you plan on uploading a different type Type of post than me, for example, a Facebook image or an Instagram image, you can still understand exactly how it's done from this video as it's very, very simple and intuitive. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do everything right now. Before we're going to get started, I want you to make sure that you have three things prepared. The first thing you need prepared is your creative, meaning your video or your image in the exact size that you need it for that particular um, social media platform, right? So for example, I have my Facebook video here, which is four on five when it comes to size. And I have my IGTV video here, which is the exact same video, only in a different dimension, which is nine on 16, which is longer, just like IGTV likes it. The second thing that you need is a thumbnail for every single one of your videos if you plan on uploading videos because if you will not upload a custom thumbnail, that basically means that Facebook or Instagram will choose your thumbnail for you, which is not always the most flattering thing in the world, right? So I propose and I suggest for you to actually pre-prepare your thumbnail in advance for you to be able to be proud of the video and not um, embarrassed every single time that you see it online. And the third thing that you need is your cap. The caption is basically the text that comes with your video or photo. Um, and I've already have it pre-prepared here. I have my caption title, right? Because for every single video, you do need a title. You do not need it for images. And I have my caption body ready, right? Okay, so let's get started with scheduling content to Facebook Creator Studio. So what you want to do is you want to hit Google and you want to search Facebook Creator Studio in your search bar and simply click on the first link that pops out here. I'm going to click it. Um, quickly, or you can also go to the URL business.facebook.com forward slash creator studio, and you're going to arrive at the exact same place. Now, since I, will, I plan on posting for Facebook as well as Instagram, I'm going to be posting them separately. Um, I can do this at one go, but for some reason, it still is not working for IGTV. And that's the reason why I have to actually schedule it separately first for Facebook and then for Instagram IGTV. So for Facebook, Make sure that you have your Facebook option uh, chosen here at the top, at the center top, and then simply ignore everything that happens on this page and check out the bottom left side for this icon that looks like a calendar, because guess what? This is your scheduling calendar. And then I always like to choose the month option because then it can give me a very nice preview of all of the content that I have scheduled for this month, right? Now, I want to schedule a fresh new piece of content for Wednesday the 30th. So the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to click on this green button here that says create new. And first of all, choose the post type that I want to schedule. If you want to create a regular post, meaning only text or text with image, simply choose create post. If you want to upload a video, simply choose upload video. I'm going to click on upload video and then I'm going to find the video that I want to post inside my computer, which in this case is, do you need a website video? And I need the four on five 
type of size because that's the best size for Facebook videos. I'm going to click on that button and click open. And in that exact second, basically Facebook will open up the screen of managing the post scheduler for me. And in the background, it's already going to start um, uploading the video. And while it does that, I'm actually going to do the rest of the things and fill the rest of the stuff here. So the first thing that I want to fill is my title title. And that's the reason why I wanted my title ready. So this is the title for my post. I'm going to copy it and paste it here. And the second thing that I want to put here is my uh, caption body text, which I have ready as well because we've prepared it in advance and paste it here. Now, the next thing that I have to fill out here is my tag. Now, you don't have to do that, but since Facebook actually gives you those tools to use, I recommend you use them. So in my case, my niche is all about online business. So I'm just going to type online business here and choose add a new tag. Whoops, it doesn't look online business and choose add a new tag saying online business. So I've done that. Um, you can add additional tags as much as you like, but once that is happening and once I finish that, the next thing that I'm going to do while the video is still uploading is to actually change the thumbnail. So as you can see on the right hand side, you have your kind of like a menu bar for this scheduling tool by Facebook. And I'm going to click on thumbnail. Then I'm going to choose the second option saying custom image. And immediately it's going to pop out the window that will allow me to choose my image. And in this case, again, I need to choose the four on five thumbnail that I've pre-prepared just because that's the right size that comes with this video. I'm going to choose that thumbnail and click open and immediately Facebook is going to upload that thumbnail for me. Now, the next thing that I wanted to be that I want to do is to simply click next. And I want to choose the scheduling type. When do I actually want to schedule that video? You can either choose to publish it now or you can to choose to publish it later. I'm going to choose publish it later, meaning to schedule. And my date is going to be, we said, um, Wednesday 30th. And the time that I'm going to choose to do that is in 6 p.m. Because for me, that's the best time to actually post my specific video. Um, and then as I scroll a little bit down, I actually want this video to appear everywhere. So I'm going to tick newsfeed, display and watch, allow embedding, everything. I'm not going to hold Facebook back. Now, if you have playlists on your Facebook fan page, you might want to choose that. If you have a series, you might want to choose that. And also, if you want your video to be posted to additional Facebook pages and not just the main one that you chose, simply choose that here. And then once I'm all done with all of that, I'm simply going to click schedule and it's going to take a little while until Facebook will finish uploading the entire thing before he'll be willing to publish this. So let me um, skip this part and get back to you once the video is uploaded. Cool. Once the video is all uploaded, you're going to have a pop up appearing, basically saying that my post will be published on the date that I chose. And you will immediately be able to see that in my left menu, in my pre-published videos here, you're going to see all of the videos that you scheduled right here. Now, the next thing that I want to do is to pre-schedule my IGTV post. So here on the top center side of the screen, I'm going to choose Instagram and immediately I'm going to switch into the calendar view and also choose the correct uh, Instagram account that I want to actually publish this content into. And again, you're going to see all of my scheduled posts right here. And this exact post is going to be scheduled in the exact same date and time as the previous one to Facebook because it's the exact same video, simply distribute to different channels. So again, I'm going to choose create post. And here you're going to choose whether you want this to appear in your Instagram feed, meaning a regular post or a short form video or an IGTV type of video. So I'm just simply going to choose IGTV. Again, I'm going to choose my account. And the first thing I'm going to do is to choose from file uploader, the type of video that I want to upload. Remember, this is IGTV, so it has to be nine on 16 long form type of video. I'm going to choose that file and click open. And while it's uploading, I'm going to start um, filling up the thing exactly like I did for Facebook. So I'm going to get back into the place where I have my caption title and body ready. So copy the title and copy the caption body, control C, control V. And then 
I want to check the option of share preview to feed because what they, that basically means that is that inside my Instagram feed, this IGTV video will appear. You can choose to untick it. And in that case, it will only appear in your IGTV profile and not in your feed. I actually like my feed to have everything. So I'm going to take that. And also one more thing that you will have here is the option to actually publish this to your page. The reason why I've done this separately is because it, it doesn't really work as if yet. Facebook can tend to be a bit buggy when it comes to new features. So as of right now, when I schedule IGTV posts, it does not uh, get posted on Facebook. That's why I've made that separately. Now let's move on to the next step, which is to change our cover image, our thumbnail. So I have that pre-prepared as well. The same exact thing that I did for Facebook. I'm going to choose um, custom upload and add image. And I'm going to choose the nine on 16 type of thumbnail because that's the right size for this video. I'm going to click open. And then here it's a bit different from Facebook because here, what you want to do is to uh, hit this tick here and choose not publish now, but schedule. Beware, do not click on the publish button because that will publish the post immediately um, to your Instagram account, but instead choose schedule. And again, I'm going to choose the exact same date, the exact same time, PM, and then I'm going to click schedule. And same thing is going to happen right now. Instagram is going to continue uploading my video into my account, and then it's going to let me know that my post is ready. So I'm gonna skip that part and get back to you once it's done. Awesome. Once Instagram is done uploading my post, you will see a message saying your post has been successfully scheduled. You're not going to see it in the calendar yet, but don't get freaked out. Simply refresh the page and you will see the post scheduled here. Now, if you want to see your scheduled post, it's right there inside your calendar. So for example, right now I'm inside my Instagram view. I have my Instagram icon chosen and I'm inside calendar on the monthly view. I'm simply going to click. You see, this is the post that we scheduled on the 30th of the month. I'm going to click on that post and already you can see the video is there. The caption is there. And if you want to edit anything, all you need to do is click edit post and already you're back inside the editor and you can make your change. Now for Facebook, it's a little bit different because as you can see in Facebook, if I'm going to click on the Facebook icon again and head back to calendar on the monthly view, if I'm going to click on that same post that we scheduled for the 30th of the month, again, you can see exactly how that post will look like inside your page, the caption, the video, everything, but you don't have a direct link to edit from here. So if you want to edit that post, what you need to do is to exit Add the calendar and choose content library and inside content library you will basically see all of the videos and all of the images that you've that you've ever published or scheduled inside facebook so i'm simply going to locate that video ticket and click uh, 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 uh where is it click edit post and that way it will open up um, the editing in interface and i can make my changes um, and redo the whole thing all over again so no problem there. So that's it. That's how you schedule content on Facebook Creator Studio. I hope this video has been helpful for you. If something is not working for you, or if you have any questions, please make sure to leave them in a comment below. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, what is up with you? I'm creating so much content about number one, how to start and grow your own profitable online business. Number two, about how to create effective marketing for your business. It comes from the heart and that is not sleazy or slimy. And number three, how to systemize and create better business without you actually having to be there so that your business will not end up taking over your life that you have to subscribe right now by clicking the button below this video. I'm going to see you in the next episode. Until then, yalla bye. Oh, by the way, before you go, if you're curious to see exactly how far can you and your business really go and you want to explore the option of working with me one-on-one -on, -one on your business, simply head over to nataliaray.com forward slash agency and learn exactly what I do, how I do it, and how I can help you take your business to new heights. Now, for reals, I'm going to see you in the next video. Until then, yalla bye.